The zoo is building a new polar bear exhibit and wants to put a semicircle window in the concrete wall of the swimming tank, as we see pictured here. If the semicircle has diameter 70 centimeters and the bottom of the window is at a depth of 2.75 meters, we want to find the hydrostatic force on the window. So the bottom of the window is at a depth of 2.75 meters. So this distance here is 2.75 meters. We need to be careful here because the diameter is given in centimeters. So if we put this semicircle on the coordinate plane, the diameter would be 0.7 meters, so we have common units, and therefore if the center is at the origin, on the right we'd have 0.35 meters, on the left we'd have negative 0.35 meters. And since the center is at the origin, we could write the equation of this semicircle as x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared, which would be 0.35 squared, as long as you restrict the value of y so that it's greater than or equal to zero. And now we'll find the hydrostatic force by finding this integral here, where the force is equal to the integral of w times d of y times L of y, integrated with respect to y from c to d, where w is the weight density, which is equal to the density of the water times the acceleration due to gravity, now some problems we may be given the weight density, but in this problem we'll have to calculate it. D of y is the depth of the fluid at y, and L of y is the horizontal length at y. So let's set up our integral on the next slide. Let's begin by determining the weight density, which again is equal to the density of the water times the acceleration due to gravity, which would be 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed, which is given times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is also given, and therefore the weight density would be 9,800, and this would be newtons per meters cubed. Now before we find d of y and l of y, it's helpful to sketch a horizontal slice of the window using a rectangle, let's say this rectangle here. Notice how the height of this rectangle would be delta y, which is why we integrate with respect to y. And now if we let the length from the rectangle to the origin be equal to y, d of y would be the length from this rectangle to the top of the water. So if this represents our thin slice or rectangle, and this length here is y, notice how the depth would be 2.75 meters minus y. So this length here, d of y, equals 2.75 minus y. And now we need to find L of y, the horizontal width of this slice. Well we know the equation of our semicircle is x squared plus y squared equals 0.35 squared, as long as y is restricted to being greater than or equal to zero, and therefore the distance from the y-axis to the right edge would be x units, and so the distance from the y-axis to the left edge here. And therefore the total horizontal length of the window at any value of y would be 2x but we need to have L as a function of Y, not as a function of X. So now we'll solve our equation for X and then make a substitution here. So if we know that X squared plus Y squared equals 0.35 squared, again we'll solve this for X so we can write L as a function of Y. So we have X squared equals 0.35 squared minus Y squared. And now we'll square root both sides of the equation. And because our x is a length, we only have to consider the positive square root. So we have x equals the square root of 0.35 squared minus y squared. And therefore L of y is equal to two times the square root of 0.35 squared minus y squared. And now we can set up the integral. We know w 
we know d of y, and now we know L of y. The hydrostatic force on the window is equal to the integral of 9,800 times d of y, which is 2.75 minus y, times L of y, which is two times the square root of 0.35 squared minus y squared, integrated with respect to y from the bottom of the window to the top, which would be from zero to 0.35. Now we could evaluate this by hand, but the main purpose of this video is to practice setting up this integral, so now we'll evaluate this on the graphing calculator. But before we do this, let's go ahead and factor out the 9,800 as well as the two. So this will give us 19,600 times the integral of 2.75 minus y times the square root of 0.35 squared minus y squared integrated with respect to y from zero to 0 0.35. And now we'll go to the calculator. So we have 19,600, math option nine for function integration. Now we'll enter the integrand, but we'll use x instead of y so in parentheses we have 2.75 minus x, close parenthesis, times the square root of 0.35 squared minus x squared, close parenthesis for the square root, comma x, the variable of integration, comma zero, comma 0.35, close parenthesis and enter. And so the hydrostatic force on the window is approximately 4,905.676 newtons. I hope you found this helpful.